Hello, welcome to a video demo of the GMA Junior. Maybe answer some of the questions that I had when I first saw this device. What is a GMA Junior? It is a GPS device designed to geocache. If you're unfamiliar with geocaching, you can go to geocaching.com and read all about this hobby. Can it do anything other than geocache? Uh, the answer is yes, and we'll talk more about that here in a bit. So first, let's have a look at the hardware here. The uh, device comes with a lanyard in the box, nice touch, about the size of a credit card, really a uh, small handy device. Also, it uses regular AAA batteries, which in my opinion is the best way to go. You can buy nickel metal hydride you know, rechargeable batteries if you want from Target, or you can pick up AAAs just about anywhere. It also has a rubberized loop that you can put the lanyard through or stick a carabiner through. Nice touch again. So the first question I have to answer is, can it live up to the company's sales pitch, what they put on the box and on their website, their claim to fame for this device, um, which is pretty lofty. They say this is out-of-the-box geocaching fun. No computer required, no account, no internet connection, none of that. Just turn it on and it works. Step outside, turn it on, and start walking. That easy. Uh, will it do that? Hey, let's give it a try. Here we go. So let's take the Geomate Junior and get started. I've turned it on. Now I haven't programmed this or told it anything. All I did is put batteries in and hit start. Once you start walking, you'll notice the arrow kind of figures out the direction you're going and starts to point. Uh, here it says go left. Looks like we have 1,062 feet. Now it's, well, it's off to the right a little bit. We're going to cross the street. Now it says take a left. Go about 900 feet. We'll skip forward here a little bit down to 600 crossing the street. Uh, parents, please note, it will cross streets, rivers, may walk you off a ravine, kind of have to know what you're doing. So off to the right here in the parking lot, we're about 400 feet, looks like straight ahead still. We'll skip forward here. Now we're getting pretty close, 55, 49, Looks like it's off to the right here a little bit. We'll turn and start heading in this direction. Look straight ahead, 25 feet. You'll notice there's a big clump of bushes there, and it's kind of coming to a rest here. Three, zero. Might have gone a little bit far. One step back. Boom, ground zero. Overall, I found this thing to be very accurate. But then again, just like any GPS, you, your mileage is going to vary when you get in the trees or if the original poster posted the wrong coordinates. But then again, it's all part of the fun of geocaching. So we found our cache. You'll want to sign the log, trade items if you want, and uh, make sure you put it back right where you found it for the next person that comes along. Well, that was a piece of cake. So what do you do now? Well, there's a small button on the right that uh, has a little happy face above it. If you press and hold that button for a couple seconds, it'll pop up and say cache saved. and It'll put a little smiley face on there. This also adds it to the found list, which is buried a couple layers back. I'll show you maybe later. Press the next button and it'll show you cache number two, 1,243 feet away. Again, just start walking and the arrow will figure out the direction you're going and start to point. It's really that simple. I do want to say that uh, if it's too far to walk, this device also works in a car. Of course, you wouldn't do this unless you had a co-pilot, right? Well, let me say this right off the bat. When it comes to geocaching, especially for those of you who just on a whim want to pull this thing out of your glove compartment and go find a few caches in the afternoon, this thing is awesome. But for me, the geocaching side of it was just a bonus. In fact, I was looking for something completely different. With an upcoming trip to China on the horizon, I was looking for something to get me back to my hotel as someone who tends to wander and not pay attention to where I'm going in one of the, the our world's largest cities. I just wanted to get back safely to my hotel at the end of the day. So after doing my homework, I headed to REI to purchase the Bushnell Backtrack. This device is uh, designed to take you back home um, after you've been out and about or back to your car or whatever. When I got to REI, sitting next to it in the case for another five bucks was the Geomade Junior. Um, my biggest concern was 
Will it get me back if I shut it off, if I have to switch batteries, um, considering it's not its main purpose? Will it get me back? Did it? Well, come on with. Let's check it out. All right, made it to China. I thought for my first day I better uh, do just a quick test, go out and have a bite to eat, and come back to the hotel. If you press and hold both of the buttons on the front, it'll pop up and say home locked. And here I am at the hotel, and I'm simply going to shut the device off, stick it in my pocket, and head out for breakfast. Found some food. Can't tell you what I ate, but I'm ready to go back. Press and hold the big button with the big house on it. And it'll point you back to your hotel. And there it is, and off we go. About a uh, half mile away. Worked like a charm. The one thing I can share is you want to make sure you have a good lock, satellite lock, before you set your home position. Uh, I did find at a different uh, motel I was at that uh, I could not get a lock on the satellites, whether it was the buildings or the power lines or whatever. Um, but all I had to do is simply walk to the other side of the building, and it locked. Um, just something to keep in mind. On a secondary note, um, I did swap the batteries one day while I was out to a new set, and it still got me back just fine. I normally left the device off in my pocket, and if I was in an open area, of course, it was easy to get a satellite lock to get me back. In these super tight areas, I would usually just leave the device on in my pocket, and I was amazed how well it stayed locked once it was locked. Other functions of the GMA Junior uh, here at the Great Wall, I was able to use it to see how high I was, get my altitude. It'll also give you the raw coordinates, which is nice. You can go find those caches not listed in the database of the GeoMate, like a multi-cache or something brand new that's not listed. Or when you get home, fire up Google Maps, punch it in, and it'll show you exactly where you were at that point in time. Nice to have. It'll also give you your heading. Just like the geocaching side of things, you have to be moving before it knows which direction you're going. Of course, as we already pointed out, how far back to the hotel or your car, whatever you did program in. And one more thing I can do standing on the wall here, which does require an additional purchase, is go geocaching. In fact, there's a geocache right down the wall here, about three quarters of a mile. That's really neat. As I think I mentioned before, the GeoMate Junior is ready to go out of the box for the U.S. of A. That means that Canada, Mexico, and the rest of the world, for that matter, is not in the database. If you want to upgrade and get these other caches, like China, you'll have to purchase the GeoMate Junior upgrade kit. It's $25, allows you to put in these extra countries if you want, or you can simply update uh, your maps as often as you want. Just make sure your computer is compatible with their upgrade software before you make the jump. After you've swapped the database over, which was really easy, to whatever country you're going to, uh, when you're tired of sightseeing, that's right, time to go geocaching. And just like at home, turn it on and it'll take you right to it. Worked really good. Running out of time here, better wrap it up. Uh, my demo showed some of the things that were interesting to me, but if you want some real stats and uh, hard facts, you should check out some of the reviews out on the Internet uh, or check out the user reviews on, say, Amazon, that type of thing. Or you can always spin over to the company's website, mygeomate.com, and ask a question or check out what they have to offer. Although this thing is marketed towards kids, for me personally, I really like it. combination of my cell phone for the data side of things and the Geomate Make a great geocaching pair. One last thought, if you decide to pick one of these up, is uh, invest in a screen protector. The latitude longitude fonts are awfully thin. Not unusable, but one scuff away from being unusable. Now, some of you will never have any reason to go in here. I personally like to go in here, especially in the woods, and would actually even prefer if they put them both on one screen. Geomate, are you listening? Hello? And that's a wrap. Have fun geocaching, and hopefully we'll see you out on the trail.